I was presented with my most gratifying quest line yet, the Punisher. Upon completion, I will receive the Mighty Epsilon container, a 2x4 secured container that's a game changer for inventory management, allowing me to carry more valuable stuff in and out of raids. Now this would make my zero to hero wipe significantly easier to manage, but there is a looming question. Can I finish it before I run out of money? After spending a lot on the setup task and other challenges, I need to be extra cautious with my gear. I've come a long way from zero, and securing the Epsilon container would be a monumental milestone at this stage. However, the path is treacherous, with six challenging tasks standing between me and the grand prize. The stakes are high and every move matters, so will I succeed or will my resources run dry? The journey begins on Shoreline and Punisher Part 1. The objective is pretty simple, eliminate 15 scavs while using an AKM. Now one thing I needed to avoid was unnecessary PvP, and a couple of raids later, the quest was done. Onwards to reserve, and this time I needed to take out 12 scavs while using a suppressed weapon, as well as find 7 lower half masks. And yes, this too was easy. Until I ran into Gluhar, the scav boss. That's Gluhar. Okay, I forgot my flashlight. Um, this is not good. They're all on the right side. That doesn't favor me at all, brother. Well, I gotta shoot my dude. Wait, did I get this guy with a nade? No way. I moved in to loot one of the guards in hopes he had grenades on him, and assuming Luhar was on my right, I took cover behind this old forklift. Nades. Yes. And then the other guards attacked me. My hand was fractured and I had no painkillers, so it was now or never. Gimme, 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 gimme. I used every throwable I had in hopes to either stun or even eliminate Luhar. And if nothing else, I at least wanted to get him out of position. Got him. And finally some good news. Gluhar was down, but I still had a couple of his guards around me, and all I hoped for was a bottle of ibuprofen, just painkillers of any kind, so I don't have to limp to the extraction. I have to get out right now. I gotta go. Between all the extractions I would have to run to, my broken leg, and the lack of painkillers, I moved outside to wait for the train. Got him. The train was finally here. Now the question was, did it bring the raiders as well? Okay, that's a raider. Bro, what is going on? What is this raid? Only a few raiders were standing between me and a safe trip back to my hideout. And now all that was left for me to do was get on the train. And so I did. I was barely able to escape alive, but one thing was certain. This was surely a good gear infusion. The elimination part is pretty easy, but what about the masks? Well, here's a pro tip. As soon as the wipe hits, I start collecting stuff that I know I'll need in advance. But you can use this list to help you out in your journey. But now, as we move into part 3 of the Punisher questline, the story takes a turn. Even though the objective was pretty similar, as I needed to eliminate 25 scavs on customs while using an AKS-74U, this map is ripe with PvP. And avoiding it here was certainly gonna be a challenge. Ooh. I think I'm gonna leave these guys alone. And I did leave him alone, but moving towards the construction site, as it is usually packed with scavs, I ran into another squad of players. 
That's PMCs. Ow. He's down. Alright, let's uh, let's move back a little bit. Dude, that's so funny. I was about to uh Ooh. We got more. I'm still here, buddy boy. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Somebody else was in construction though. Ooh, oh, that's an RPD. Dude, how? Oh my god. Just took out a boss. <laughs> I want to hit this right away. Be done with it. I've been slacking on therapist. Nice. Yeah, give me. All right, let's go. I handed over the briefcase and went back. Oh, dude, what are you doing here? Jesus! Almost took me out with a grok. What the hell? Guy's a baller. Oh, come on, dude. Ow. Nice. All right. We're good. Yep. Парни, тут наши хвалят. This is kind of going well. Damn, I thought Rashala was going to be there. <laughs> Guess you can hear him. Alright. Let's hit the safes and go out. Nice. Going to save that. Living high is not a crime. Uh, we. Kind of feels like I'm playing DayZ right now. Bro, how many more do I have? Nice. I should be good. I don't even know if I should check for campfire. Most likely not. So I'll just go to uh, RUAF. Dude, can we just talk about how uh, how terrible the painkiller effect is? <laughs> just like bump up the saturation a little bit, like 40%. Because that clear border is kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Hey, we got it. Nice, nice. Part 3 was done, but now the real fun begins. I was also able to finish a weekly task along the way. I got a whole lot of XP, a nice little cash infusion, but now it was time for Punisher Part 4. The location is Lighthouse. 10 scav eliminations while using a shotgun, and 10 PMCs while wearing a balaclava and a scav vest. Carrying an RFB, an FN57, and a creation that I ended up calling my little friend, I was on my way to the chalet. Is that a PMC? <laughs> oh yes, that was a PMC moaning. Probably trying to get across the barbed wire. Yeah, that's a squad. Shit, they're gonna loot the chalet before me. I mean... If I can, like, pick off one of them... 
I didn't want to lose the gear right away, so I crept like the biggest rat. Yeah, I don't think I ran to the front of the building. I just cut to the part where I'm closer. I don't want to waste your time, but that's what happened. Oh, somebody else is here. It's like people outside and inside. Marvelous. Oh, he's getting sniped. <laughs> Didn't even know he was in a sandwich. Where's your friend, pal? I don't know why I did this. Alright, I mean, he was getting sniped, so, um... We'll simply move over to the rocks. It's like, I, I like to check the... <laughs> Of the hill. That's why. You don't often see snipers over there anymore. I'm not even gonna loot that guy, bro. It's not about the gear, but it is. Yeah, I think they both got murked. I mean, I could save some more space by taking out the mag. They set up camp, bro. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Oh! Could be more people over there. Ooh, yes, I need those. Should be okay here. If I break my legs now, I, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, seriously? Why did you add the vaulting? Come on! Dude, this... Alright. This doesn't work? Ooh. Alright, that's two. I kind of like the Breacher shotgun. Hello? These are player scabs. Yup. I'm not going to challenge that. No way. I want to save my gear. So sooner or later, I think I've learned the meaning of enough is enough. So I backed away and extracted down south. But with two PMC dock tags in the bank, I call that a success. For the next one, I grabbed an MDR and took position on the rocks overlooking the chalet. And lo and behold. Uh. How did you not see me? What the hell? I mean, it's good that you didn't, but... <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god. Look at that. Monstrosity. That's a player's cab, and I need the shotgun kill. I'm sorry. Alright, let's check out the other one. These are scavs by the sound of it. Luckily, I brought my little friend with me, so the eliminations will count towards the quest completion. Dude, it's like two. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright. No, no. Bro, what did they do to the scavs? Am I crazy? <coughs> he almost got me, what the hell? 
3 HP on Thorax. GG. Well, that could have ended badly, so I healed up quickly and moved on towards the village. Ooh, that's a Yusek. What do you know? Another unsuspecting player. He's gonna go inside. I hit him, though. Ugh. Not even a scratch. Please be a PMC. Oh, that's a player's cap. Probably check the kitchen. Nice. I was getting surrounded by player's calves, but I could still hear the dude inside, so I just moved closer. He's gonna come out the same side? Okay. Yeah, it's the same dude. I don't, I don't know if he thought he was getting shot at by a scav. Alright, that's a, that's a cool loadout, I guess. Like mid-tier. I mean, at this point, any loot is good loot. I gotta save the knives, though. Alright, take you off. Grab this. So far, I had no losses, and I was at 4 out of 10 PMC dog tags. I mean, you'd think I know what I'm doing. Another pro tip, don't go up these rocks. There are mines, there's even a sign. And now I was at a slight disadvantage. If anybody had spawned close to me, oh, they know I'm here. Ow. Dude, I forgot about the spawn. Uh, I think he's using a bolt action. He would have lit me up. Come on. I mean, I just hope it's not a squad, because, um... And that he doesn't have nades. There we go. Yeah, I think this guy was alone. What did I say? He could have lit me up with a uh, MP5 after. You know, just for the uh, intimidation sake of it. <laughs> Luckily, I got out of that one safely. So I moved back with the plan to infiltrate the water treatment facility from Warehouse 3. Woo! That was a hit. Nice. Dude, if you miss that first shot... It's like... Whoa! Damn, bro. Is that a player's cab or what? Do you guys feel like they did something with the scavs lately? Is there cracked? I'm not getting shot at, so we're cool for now. All right, one left. That one's by the uh, by the bridge side. All right, perfect, dude. I'm getting a lot of shit done. You gotta love when you're able to do like multiple quests in one raid. Hello? Uh. Okay. Player scav. I want to believe this guy's not going to turn. The game is still in beta. <laughs> we got to do this, but don't panic. Here. Move this. Make room. Grab this. We're good to go. That's AI. 
With multiple objectives done, I had to go to Path to Shoreline. No food, no energy, so I couldn't run. And a minute left in the raid. Bro, how come I'm always getting myself into these kinds of situations? It's unbecoming, really, at this point. <laughs> like, usually, you know, my friends will tell me, Oh, I had this raid. I ran out of food. I barely got out. Yeah, brother. That's my every other raid. Dude, tell me I'm wrong, but Lighthouse needs to be longer. Like, raid time. I don't know if I should check the chair or the chopper. I could. Don't be a squad. It's just one dude. And he's a bear. <gasps> oh, he popped a flare. <laughs> Dude's got no clue I'm here, bro. Go on. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! Another PMC elimination and an early raid care package. What more could I have asked for? Well, he's doing the Punisher. All right, he didn't loot anything yet. Yeah, this this is okay. I need this for the hideout. Move that for the textile. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Now, I need this tank battery for a very obnoxious quest. And I mean, I do need all the XP I can get, so I just wanted to get it over with. I was right by the extraction, so that was kind of cool. What about I was four PMC dog tags away from completing Punisher Part 4, and so far we had nothing but success. I mean, for a change. But I've kinda had enough of the MDR, so I switched it up and brought in this little SKS. I ran to the village because I spawned pretty close, and it's pretty much a high risk, high reward opportunity to catch PMCs off guard this early. What you doing over there, little buddy? I wish I brought that XMC. Hello. Ooh, yeah. Come, come. He's got no clue. Nice. No way I'm gonna get this. We'll go for the briefcase now, and uh, go back. Wait, no, maybe I can go through the beach? Bro. 100% this is a player's cap. It is. What was he doing? <gasps> Bro. Okay. Yeah, I'll put these here. Examine them later. Get the briefcase and move on. Alright, cool. I mean, the GL is not shooting at me. Ooh, long road. Come on. Wait, I don't know if this will count. <gasps> what? Yeah, that happened. And just like that, I lost all this gear. But you know how it goes. You lose some, and then you end up getting one of the best raids of this wipe. Woo! 
That was an Ash 12. The hell are you doing using that, man? Is it good now or what? I think he was alone. Famous last words, as always. Oh, this is a Chad. A real Chad. I mean, I'll take it. I needed just a few more scav eliminations for the chalet quest, so I ran back and up the hill to check if any scavs had spawned. Alright, I mean, they, they should have spawned, right? At least like one or two. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's a player. Dude, Lighthouse is popping with snipers today. What the hell? Two PMCs down, one to go. They're all like in good spots too. <gasps> it's not a sniper, what? Probably heard me. How though? <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. Dude, there are no scabs, why? It's like a failed opportunity. That's a PMC. That's a USEC. I legit thought it was a player's calf <laughs> and got excited. I don't know where he went. All right, what is going on? Teammate, probably. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat that. Tell you what, let's do this. Having learned a lot from my previous mistakes, I decided to not peek that angle again. And judging by the sound of that shot, he was most likely around my favorite spot. And instead I took the long way around, all the while ensuring I stay below his line of sight. Now the question is, when I was shooting at the first guy, uh, the second guy, was the first Yusek his friend? Because uh, that was, uh, you know, a bit of a coincidence. <laughs> hey man. They don't call me Frank the Flank for no reason. I need cover though. Hey buddy! We're done. Okay, that's a nice find. Perfect. What's it gonna be now? Another 10 PMC kills and uh, what else? AK, M4, I gotta hand over the guns. I mean, the good thing is we can just reset and use the DBL. Told ya. Sniper country. Yeah, he saw me. Um, I'm kind of growing impatient. Of playing patiently. <laughs> so, you know, we'll just swing it, see what happens. Must have gone down. Ooh, nope. Wait, what? Oh, that was a hit. 
Aww. Now we're getting into the thick of it. It was time for Punisher Part 5. Hand over an M4, hand over an AK, and two Makarov pistols. And last but not least, eliminate 10 PMCs while wearing a pack of body armor in a 6B47 helmet. So I used my hype from the previous successful raids and went back to Lighthouse cause, for whatever reason, I was doing surprisingly well. I had an SV98, an MP9, and I was ready to get this done. One down, nine to go. Look at this dude. <laughs> AK-12. It's mine now. Just gonna make sure he's solo. Okay, this guy's thick. I'm gonna be able to carry all of it. Tarkov, please. Bigger backpacks. <laughs> Now for a minute there, I thought I would have to go back to using only my hatchet, cause at one point I had this much money. But all those raids for Punisher Part 4, yeah let's say my stash was doing good. I didn't have all that many rubles, but I had a lot of gear to spare. And that my friends, doesn't have a price. I'm just kidding, it does, it's 100. I made a few stops on the way to Extract, the Sniper Mountain being one of them, but that long road quest sure is obnoxious. Dude, it's like one player's cav. Jesus, I need more. Brother. Yet another cool gear infusion. But for the next one, I called in some backup. This is Boris. It's his first wipe. And he's gonna be my spotter today. Now Boris got the game a couple of months ago, and we'll see if he's up to the challenge. So we're gonna be doing some long range sniping as I'm hunting players for Shooter Born in Heaven, Tarkov Shooter Part 4, and The Punisher Part 5. Now Boris might be new to the game, but he already knows his way around. So yes, Tarkov had consumed him. We spawned all the way down south, and it was the perfect opportunity to either get some early eliminations or get back to the lobby. So I need some fun, but pick one, I'll go over there. Ovam jarku ovdje imam. Pazi sad ovdje, iza ovoga. E, ali da pazimo mi malo i brdo, imam. Ja ne mogu telo napred. Čekaj, vidim. Ne vidim. Ne vidim, vidim. A računom nema odakle. Valjda. A, jel čonkt? 47, M1. Now the important thing was, both of us were still in one piece. And at first we thought the plan was pretty simple. Move to the water treatment facility, eliminate the rogues, grab a few quest items and then move to the train yard to finish some more tasks. All the while eliminating players left and right for not one, but three different quests. But I had no time to waste. 
I could finally see the finish line of my Extreme Zero to Hero challenge, and if you by any chance missed any episodes, check this out to get up to date. But our adventure continues as Boris and I move through the very heart of Lighthouse. The plan was to clear the rocks up ahead, snipe the rogues from far out, and then make our way through the village and into the water treatment facility. But we had to be careful because this was a high loot area, and we could get jumped by other PMCs or players' calves at any time. So we had to scope out the adjacent mountain as well. It seemed clear enough, so we took position in this rock. And honestly, playing as a sniper duo was too much fun. And what do you think? How is Boris doing so far? My weapon is a modded SV98, and I'm shooting the T46 tracer rounds. The mounted machine gun on the other end of warehouse one was 700 meters away from this spot. Okay. Ah, <coughs> Još sam ga ubio, ga je ispogađao, a mislim da ga nije ubio. I onda je pratio čulicu, ja sam ga spizdio, a ovog nisam ni vidio. Gde su bili? Na sred ulice tu dole? Jedan je bio preko puta, ne vidiš ga sad, samo sa leve strane malo. Dobro. 50 metara. Aha. Da. Pretpostavljam da je bio... Ili u kući, ili u ovom nekom dvorištu ovdje. Mam da ga izmanim, ti gledaj da smo stranu puta. S druge strane ovdje, ja. Da ga čuješ? To on pucam? Da. Čuo sam, ali... Preko, mislim da je preko. Mislim da mene puca. Tebe? Da, da, da. Ты знаешь, что так, да? Не. Кушаем до сконтанту, можно кое до Велограда, не знаю. Или се трипуем. Ага. То опять излам меня, не? Да, не мой тупый. Покушаем. Кад пикне мало десно, он пуц. Видим. Dvorište. Pogodio sam u nogu. Otočio iza ograde. Gdje je bio u dvorištu? S desne strane kući? Iza je otočio, sad iza ograde. Još se vuče, vuče se iza ograde. Znači kad skupujem duplo vidim ga. Tačno od iz. Nemam stamine. 
izbušio sam ga, ali ne znam koliko. Ti bomba ili on? E, živ, ja. pomeraj se, pomeraj se. Otiš sad iza kući. Sad ga ne vidimo, odavde nikako. Ovdje je kome. Bra, 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 bra. Ovo ima masku ovu. Jel? 47. Ima neki ranac koji nikad nisam vidio. Kako se zove? Ja sam danas vidio neki ranac prvi put u životu. Sapu. Eto nije. Evo silazim ja sad ovdje kude sti si išao. Ajde, nađemo se tu. da ne slomim nogi. Imaš možda mjulu? Imam. Ili dva. Koraci. Dva ne. Bro. Skav čina. Player skav. Imam jedan mjul, možemo mi, ako hoćeš odmah da izađem. Pa mislim svako mi idemo na sever, ili imamo sever, imamo, je li tako? Jesi siguran da ćemo da stignemo sever? Ako smo čonkat, 18. Koliko imaš mjulova? Jedan. Imam jedan mjul, imam Meldonin jedan. SJ6 jedan. Pa izvijem koliko ću imati kila kad uzem ovo sve. Ili imaš ti backpack? Uzijem njegov backpack. Aha, dobro, dobro, dobro. Ovaj je M1A, jel uzimaš, ostavljaš, šta radiš? Ostavljam, uzmi ga ako hoćeš. Ostavljaš ga. Ne znam da li da ga uzmi umjesto MP5. Uzmi ga umjesto MP5, obavezno, da. Ovid ovaj MP5 što ima attachmente, sunci ti jebe. A skinimo attachmente, brat. Može to. A, da. Ti ništa možeš. Ovaj backpack ti ne treba što na patos ovo. Ne treba, ako hoćeš uzmi. Pa onda sam mogu i uzeti MP5. Ajde, ubaci mi na njegov pocket mule. U njegov pocket? Da. Da. Hvala te, bra. Al si debo, e. Jer mule ono beše troši energiju, tako to je health? A, ne bi trebalo. Ali nešto ti sjebava, ne znam šta. Uzmi scope sa snajpera. Aha. Uzo. Leđa skav, leđa skav, leđa player, player. Desno otišao, desno u žbunji. Koliko daleko? Možda. Na putu je bio desno, tamo iza bandere. Možda ćemo vam, bežemo vam. Mislim, u dobrom se kaptu bacio, ajde, ajde. Pitch is not pretty soon. Now, we didn't want to get into any unnecessary PvP, so the plan was to approach the water treatment facility from Warehouse 3. Marto. Ne, ja stoji još uvek, bre. Evo, ja... Ne, 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 ja sam gađu desnog. Aha, evo gdje još jedan stoji levo od njega. Desno od njega, pardon. I u, rikošetirao mu šlem, bre. Da, 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 da. Pa kada nam leđa samo? Šta su leđa? Most ovdje, kuda smo došli? Da gađem. Mrtav je. A ovaj drugi nije, ovaj drugi je pobegu. Tuk što sam ja gledao. Vidim ga. Mrtav. Jesam, jesam. Leđa, leđa, leđa most. A, AI scout. Mrtav. 
Koji me nekađe o brate? Ne znam. Je li Machine Gunner možda na kecu živ? Nemoguće. E pa ne znam, to drrrr, to je bio Machine Gunner, a? Ja sam mišljel, što si uvatio Rafal? Ne. What the fuck? Neko me ispogađa i zbuši mi stomak. Jel? Da. Ajde, bežemo vam u nas i CMS-ujem. Ajde, ajde, ajde. Moguće da je Machine Gunner živ, a? Pa čekaj, ja sam izbombo kec još sa... sa kuće. Pa možda neki drugi seo na njega, ali može to da se desi. Pa može. Having cleared the warehouse, two rogues, we finally decide to approach. Budi pažio, budi. Tu su. Ne znam da li je gore. Gdje gore može da bude? Samo krov? Na krovu, da. Ne može da bude u ovim ofisima gore? Pa ne znam. Otvoram. Pazi, vrata. Ova što otvaraš? Jesi čuo? Žbun. Čuo sam žbun. Glavna vrata. Mrtav. Pa da, da. Čak uđemo unutra. Punemo okvir. Sada mi dotel nemam vremena da utrčim da uzmem quest iz dvojke. Pa ne znam, rizično je to malo. Jest, ajde sam. Kako mi to ofis? Moram i u kec ići, ću imati vremena. Ne. Ne? Ne, 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 ne bi da ga natežemo. Ju, ja sam loš sa hranom, ne znam kakav si ti. Imam ja SJ-12 jedan. Nemoj, nemoj, nemoj. SJ-12. Imam, čekaj. Našao quest. Imam hump, imam hump back jedan koji će vodu da mi usere, ali može... Evo te, ice green. Imam i red colu, imam red colu, imam red colu. Imam red colu. Ponos. Pokupi, 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 ne treba. Ne treba, ne treba, ne treba. Dobro, dobro, dobro. Znači 40 hrane, čez 40 vode i puno hrane. Ajmo da li samo da markujemo ovu u trenjardu. Ajde, overimo tamo da li imamo car extract. Imamo car extract. Odlično. Čuvaj si krova ovde. Da, da, da. Skroz desni čošak, jel' tako? Da, znači moraš, moraš pripikovati machine gun, ako ga vidiš da je na njemu. A vidim, vidim, da. Što poliva po trenjardu, to može biti zajedno. Da, da, da. Ko puc? Jesi ti čuo pucnje, jesi? Da. Jesi čuo sam impact. Čuo sam ja impact. Jel' mogu sa keća da nas pucim? Ne. Trčavam ja u trenjardu. Jel' Machine Gun ovaj nije tu, jel? Ne znam. Nije. Nije tu, nije tu. Utrčo. Pokrivaj samo taj Machine Gun, ako dođe na njega. Ajde, ajde. Ovdje da ostanem, a? Može. I ne da markujem ovo.
Ja pa te mi smo se i juga krenuli. Da. Najjužnije moguće. Naša me player skavovi. Dolazim. Rešio oba. Daćem se. Brate zlo kakav raid. Gas. Pazi planin je da ja sam tu znam da kampujem nekad. Aha. Yeah, we kind of snowballed to success in that raid. Led by the good old, if it works, why change it? We hopped back in in no time. Now, this one was quiet at first, but I've played enough raids to know where to look. We both felt like it was enough of Lighthouse for one day, so we needed to relax a bit. Okay, I have to be that guy. For anyone that doesn't know, it was a reference to the relaxation room located in the streets of Tarkov. So Boris, being the Chad that he is, brought the key. Two uses, by the way. And this room is full of the good stuff. But you guessed it, we weren't the only ones trying to get some gold. Čapaj mu ranac odmah. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Now I thought I would be done with Punisher Part 5, but it turned out that it was Boris who actually took out the first guy, so I had just one more elimination. However, this raid turned out to be much more exciting than we'd expect. BTR? No, I am pare. Počemo da se vozim. Ima mi ja 100.000. Ima ja. Ali nisam vozio, ne znam. E, upaljen ti laser na pušci na leđima. Što vozimo na BTR? Pa ne znam, nisam se ja nikad vozio, ne znam kako to funkcioniš. Možemo probati jedno. Ajde. Jel obojica treba platiti, ili samo jedan ili kako? Mislim da obojica, ne znam, sad ćemo vidjeti. A waiting payment, kaži. Da uradim entera. Ja entero. Ja sam enterovao. Ja isto. Šta sad, dok se prodaje? What can you do? E, move items to stash. Ehm, moonshine. Maska, motor, težak. I... Deliver? What can you do? Take a ride. Dok le ćemo? Oćemo do collapse screena, tamo ti treba šparija onaj... Da, collapse screen. Ajde. Ja sam kliknuo, transaction smak set. Pazi, ja ću kliknuti cover fire. Ajde. I sad šta, end conversation, no? Da, i čekamo. Stać. Da. Bilo bi strao da možda gledaš malo u mojom okolu. Da. Samo da napunimo okvir. Hoćeš da rešimo spariju i da pretačimo preko puta u onaj check 15. Aj sad ćemo napraviti plan da... 
Nekog skače. Uh, evo je cover fire. Šta sad? Exit? A? Ako mogu on na kastu da nas odvede. Ajde. Trk. Pucu u skalovi, ili si ti pucu u skalovi? Stavi, stavi. Boy, that BTR taxi service is something else, huh? And the stash size also increases as your fence rep goes up. We quickly ran into the supermarket to finish a quest and then made our way to Concordia to find some scavs. Svetlo? Bro, još jedan. A bittersweet ending, but at this point it didn't even matter. The Punisher Part 5 was done. One more quest, and I'll finally get to enjoy the benefits of the Epsilon container. And the objective is very straightforward. Eliminate 15 PMCs using the SVDS. My map of choice was Streets of Tarkov. In the last wipe I went to Interchange. And if you want to see how that went, check this out. But why Streets of Tarkov fair? Because it gives me multiple options. I can be stealthy, or I can be aggressive and move around. Lots of cover, lots of windows, and lots of danger. I spawned by the expo and made a mistake. I looted the scav. Instead of doing this right away. Uh oh. Bro, it's three guys. I think I got one. I'm not sure. They're pushing. No, I wanted my laser. So now you understand why not running to that bush straight away was a mistake. But I did kill two, so a decent start. 13 to go. Hello. <laughs> Wait, this actually works? I am one of you. I am a scav. Don't touch me, you can't touch me. I positioned myself in high traffic areas where PMCs are most likely to appear from multiple angles. I'm gonna let him go. What? Are they gonna shoot me? And I very soon discovered that it wasn't such a good idea. Ow! Bro. <gasps> Dude, there's like... Oh, okay. nice knowing you. I was back at Expo in my third raid, only this time I didn't make the same mistake. There we go. Now that squad was slightly ahead of me, but taking the sniper's calves into account, as well as other potential PMC spawns at the Pinewood Hotel, one of three things could happen. Either I was gonna get sniped by whomever spawned by the arch, spot the squad I was chasing crossing the road and lose him completely, or if I'm fast enough, I might just catch up to the squad I was chasing and luckily attack them when they're ready to cross the road. I could catch him over here when they're crossing. Unless they go for the mall. In case they do go for stylo bait, the sniper's calf should like start shooting. Nope. I saw two running, I think. Can't tell for sure. Yeah, they're not gonna peek again. If they went inside... I slowly backed away and wanted to get into that shop across the street. You know, just in case they start tossing nades. Oh yeah, I can still hear him. Okay, that's a scav.
like they could try and flank around all the way around to uh expo all right move away brother dude patrol somewhere else please Dude, the scavs are so annoying sometimes. Bro. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna try and loot him anytime soon. Probably not. Really? Because they could be flanking right now. Okay, that's two. That was stupid, my guy. Why did you do that? Yeah, if the third one comes out and does the exact same. Okay, they know. They they know. Um let's go away from here. Huh? Like, I could try and leapfrog all the way to Pinewood. Here, let's do this. Settle down here. It's an M4. I'm worried about this guy. I don't know, man. If I can set up in Pinewood to overwatch the body and the uh, crossroad... That's another M4. I, I'm not sure if that's the same guy. Because I didn't see anyone crossing. So, um, it could be a third party. That's him. I don't know if the second shot got him. I don't think so. The first shot definitely missed. Dude, who is this? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I should have hit that. Oh! The jump, my dude, holy. Thought it was all over. At this point, I had no clue what was going on. I was getting attacked from all sides with close to zero chance that I would loot any of them. However, I was sure of one thing. Staying here was a death trap. There's like zero chance I'll be able to loot any of them. And I cannot possibly let my greed take the wheel. Bro, don't you just love the audio? All them glitches. That's a player. And that's a scar. Why can't I move? Ooh, ooh, I can't move. This is such a nice game. I think that's an MP7. Okay, I got the message. I got one of those too. I don't want to stay here. Could be a squad as well. Bro, take it easy. Come on, I'm not there anymore. You know, Tarkov is actually a game of problem solving. Yes, you guessed it, I had another problem. I had only 13 shots left. So, lucky 13 or not so much. I hit him, but I panicked, so, huh. Uh, <laughs> These guys have like 20 nades. And it is a squad. Bro. Dude, 
Dude, how do you even carry that many? Yeah, they're pincering. This is not good, man. I have a, a couple of shots left. All right, pray I got more bullets. No, that actually wasn't bad luck, but rather my not-so-great decision-making in the second part of that raid. I knew I was low on ammo, and still I decided to push it. So I'm sorry, but the credit doesn't go to bad luck, but my own bad decisions. And surely enough, the streak of bad raids continued. Where'd you come from? Okay. All right, you can't tell me I missed every shot. That's an HK416. He was inside. That's the guy. Okay. I mean, I got to make sure he's alone. I'm magically going to get sniped from one of the windows. Somebody's on the street. I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> I'm not looking for friends right now. Ooh. Okay, he's he's still alive. This place has like 20. Jesus. I can only hope he's gonna try and flank around. There we go. Pretty much all he could have done. He could have also entered through the, uh, whatchamacallit. Is it the bank? And then into the courtyard. But, uh, I would have done the same. Honestly, nothing to lose. Okay, that's an og. Minus one. I think he was alone. Couldn't tell if that was an AUG, though. It's kind of far. By the sound of it, it is. Or it was. Alright. No, 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 no. That's a BTR. No. Whew. I'm good. Oh! Okay. I guess. <laughs> So he did have a friend. All right, bro. All right. I'll uh, take the win. Damn, what the hell? Oh, okay. Dude, why that scope? I hate that one. I mean, obviously. It's a matter of choice, but <laughs> these guys were kind of stacked. 
Hey man, like any rubles is good rubles right now. Alright, so I'm guessing the uh, second one has the AUG. Oh, nice. So I got a, whatchamacallit, the scav case, uh, not the scav case, scav junk box from all the dock tags I had. I gotta save stuff for the hideout. This is gonna help immensely down the line. Alright, we're good to go. I might do the quest as well. And I think I heard somebody down there. All right, this is Cav. This is unlocked, but the other one, the x-ray room, that's gonna have to wait, man. I did try to see if it's unlocked in one of the previous raids, but um, unlucky. So I either have to, uh, you know, enter when somebody else unlocks it, or find the key. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna guess that's a player's cav. Dude's chonked. Okay, I was about to say, bro, if I <laughs> if I just missed out an SVD kill, that would have been terrible. Dude, look at this. It was a whole battle. Oh right, yeah, I'm not gonna touch you. He should stop by the crane and chill for a couple of minutes. Or he's moving the other way. Yeah. I gotta like figure out the um the roots. Oh right on time, dude. Could have easily been an MIA had I stayed longer. But I think we got everything we need. We got some hideout stuff. We got a couple of cool guns. This was a good one for sure. Very good one. You know, I thought I was going to choke at the end, but somehow I survived. At this point, the quest was really getting to me. I've had enough of using the SVD and having to mod it before every raid, and it turns out you don't even need to. And I guess my mindset was in the right place, because I came back to Streets of Tarkov with a more aggressive approach. Dude, I don't know if I'm tripping or what. I don't know if I heard glass or whatever. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. We'll move here. Um, I should go for Lexos, maybe. But I really have to be careful. Like, um, all the money we got from those players, it's, um, half of it is lost already. And I can't mod my SVD because I have to wait for the trader reset.
That's Lexos, yeah. That's a dude. I am not going in there. I don't know if he moved out already. But somebody did kill the scav. Alright, whatever. Um... What are you doing? Hello? Okay, that was a player. Don't know if it was the same guy. I think the first one had a, a larger backpack. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway. <laughs> it's good. I'm not complaining. Ooh, should I take the Osprey? Probably not. Somebody's here. Dude, where's that from? Okay, it was a scav. That's good. <laughs> we'll move this way. Ow! No. Chill. Lexos was quiet, so I pushed on. And then I heard that. Wait, that's, um, straight ahead. Uh, if they're moving to crash site, I don't want to, like, interrupt, you know, make it seem like I'm camping. Okay. No, they're not moving to crash site. And there's somebody in Concordia. Oh, come on, dude. I gotta stop the bleeding. I can't afford to lose an arm. But now I lost the peak. Oh, worry not. There's more. Bro, what happened here? Go on, buddy. Dude, really? Player scab. I don't think he's gonna peek. He saw what I'm capable of. <laughs> he saw what his buddy went through. Okay, well, there we go again. 27 nades. I should not be able to hear him like this all the way around the building. Yeah, he's looking for a flank, so I gotta be careful. Like, if if he's got another friend, I'm screwed. I don't think he does, though. Come on, brother. Peek me. I don't think he wants to fight. Not aggressively, though. Like, at first, I thought he would. Oh, 
Okay, it's an M4. It was pretty much back and forth for at least seven or eight minutes, but somehow neither of us were willing to really swing it. So I think I made the right call, grabbed what I could, and moved towards the collapsed crane. I might just do this and move because um, I'm just wasting time and like the longer I stay the less chance I will have to uh, you know safely get out and I need this money man I was so into it that I completely forgot that I was only three eliminations away from getting the Epsilon container. And for some reason, that made me want it even more. I spawned at the new courtyard, located between the Klimov Street and the sewers. Wanting to avoid the cinema side, the plan was to loot here and then move towards the Klimov Mall. Yeah, this is the new place. <laughs> Dude, at first I was like, where the hell am I? I know streets of Tarkov. <laughs> I don't know this. It's kind of cool. I don't want to check the building now, but um, we'll come back. I heard that the boss can also spawn here. Pretty dope. And this connector is really nice as well. More PvP options. Safer routes. It's kind of cool. Can also camp this, but I don't think there's anyone here now. What's that? Was that an AI scav? I think it was. This was a player. Okay. Uh, what do you know? <laughs> they were shooting at somebody else though. Chonker. It had to be done. Lexos booming again, I think. Yeah, it's Lexos. Dude, I hate approaching it. Player. Got him. Dude, no way. One more. I just need one more. Huh. You know what? I might just double U key it inside Lexos. Okay, that's Gabon. Oh, come on, dude. Dude, really? I'm in a bit of a pickle now. Okay, now I'm in a pickle. I gotta go. I gotta go. BTR is gonna run me over. Wait, what gun is that? Oh, he still didn't get Kaban. Dude's moving inside like... What? Oh, he got him for sure. I'm sorry, what? Okay, no, no, oh, it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. I, um, never playing this game again. <laughs> what kind of armor was that? Ow. Dude, chill. I was shot down by an AI scav with a toss from all the way across the street. Yeah, 
Welcome to Tarkov. And to make matters worse, if I were able to eliminate this guy, that would have been it. But now, I am just one elimination away from finishing the quest. So I ran back to the crime scene looking for some quick PvP. <laughs> that ought to draw him in. I'd go for that. Ooh, here we go. Damn it. Scav. <gasps> oh, what, what is happening? Is it... Why... I have never seen this before. Is it the same from this window? No, it's not. Okay, we got a bug. It's on the balcony. I'll send out a report after the raid. Okay. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot him, man. Um, felt unfair. Dude, not now. Just not now. I need this, bro. We got it. Oh, we got it. Okay. Um, I, I don't even need the gear. <laughs> I, I'm done. Oh, bro, this was so worth it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Look at this. Beautiful. With one huge quest line out of the way, I was one step closer to hitting level 42 and getting the max reputation with all traders. But the Epsilon container is gonna make my journey a whole lot more enjoyable. Looking at my trophies in the stash, this monstrosity was just collecting dust. And I also needed to complete another important quest. So, shall we? Guys, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for episode 15. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member, where you can get a glimpse into the actual behind-the-scenes content, as I take you through bits and pieces of my journey of creating a video. So until next time, have a great day and stay creative.